Hi, my name is Brayden, or K3DW, on the Twisty Puzzles forum, and I would like to present my Cats Up puzzle. Now, Cats Up is actually an acronym. It's CTSP, standing for Corner Turning Square Pyramid, and then I just added vowels to make it Cats Up. Um, in fact, this is the second version of this puzzle that I've made. The first one um, I printed on a printer at my university. Um, it turns out that it was printed in gypsum and not in plastic, and so the turning quality is horrible, so much so that I can't even, it doesn't even turn, so I just glued all the pieces together in little chunks. Um, and so this puzzle, this puzzle doesn't work. Well, it was only $12, so that's, that's quite okay. Now, this puzzle right here, uh, as I said, it's a corner turning square pyramid. I believe the first of its kind. Um, so there's the top corner, which turns in rotational symmetry of four. And then there are the bottom corners. And they all turn, they have three different stops. So they have this stop right here, where this can turn again. Um, there's this stop right here, where this can turn again. And then there's the base position. Now it is technically a jumbling puzzle, although there are no moves really that make this puzzle seem like as much of a jumbling puzzle as something similar to the curvy copter. Now, I did, on the bottom, I added these, um, I call them plus cuts, similar to a curvy copter plus. So I added these plus cuts on the bottom, um, just for more scrambleability. Otherwise it would, otherwise it would be a jumbling puzzle and it would not be able to be properly scrambled. So if I do a little edge piece series here, I've now moved these chunks. Now I can turn the top corner once again. And so that is actually how you scramble this puzzle up. Now I did add the super stickers on the bottom, otherwise I feel like this would be too easy. Um, I would rather not have all four of the white tips be exactly the same, I'd rather have four distinct white tips. So every piece here has its own position. Um, and there's actually, um, there's no orientation of these tips. Um, so these tips only have one way they can orient, so this is in fact a super puzzle here. Now I actually don't like caps on puzzles. The only cap on this puzzle is this top one. As you can see back here, this should come off right here. I don't think it does. I think I super glued it down, but this cap comes off and then you can screw in this centerpiece in here. Now I actually really don't like caps. I always try to minimize the number of caps that I can have on a puzzle. Um, so actually these pieces down here, these corners, they're not screwed into the core. They have an inside out core. So here is this one. And here's the core from this puzzle. So it actually screws in like that, where I will zoom in here. A screw slots in there. And then the Allen key can go in and it can turn it through a different hole. And this allows the minimization of the number of caps. Uh, this is sort of an inside out core. I've seen Dave Pitcher do this many times before. And in fact, the whole shape of this puzzle is based on Dave Pitcher's curvy V tap. Um, I use the same uh, square root two circles. Um, and I think this puzzle looks very nice. In fact, this is my first successful puzzle that I've ever actually made. I would not consider the dino and dreidel to be successful puzzles. I definitely will remake those, but this is, uh, this is my first successful one and I, I am very happy with it. So, Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy this puzzle.